everyone. Welcome to my channel, Magpie HD, and today we're going to be doing a let's play of the game. Scorn. Now, Scorn is not a game that I was personally waiting for for a long time. I know there was many people online who were waiting for this game for years. I personally found out about this game about two months before it released, and it being October, I thought it'd be a great time to get into a horror game or a horror themed game. Now from what I've heard online, uh, a lot of people have some complaints about this game saying that it is, it's too short, it's a walking simulator, there could be more gameplay features, um, it doesn't know what it wants to be, this and that. Um, I know the game is supposed to be very atmospheric and um, also uh, somewhat gory in some scenes, uh, fleshy and even sexual. Um, so I'm, I'm not really expecting too much, but I'm just uh, expecting to have um, a, a good experience with this game, at least like a uh, uh, perhaps like a slightly unsettling experience. Now, um, before we start the game, I just want to say that uh, I did open the game before, like I actually uh, kind of played through a little bit of the first part and kind of got stuck and had to figure out what to do, and um, uh, so I'm restarting uh, the Let's Play. Um, and I also just want to briefly uh, just go over like the settings that I have because we're on PC and there's maybe some people who are interested in hearing about that. So um, before I click on the uh, video settings panel um, or tab is um, so my PC is uh, definitely not the newest. Um, I, I do have uh, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, uh, but my CPU is an i5-6500, so or yeah, 6500, so definitely an older uh, CPU. And uh, my GPU is actually an NVIDIA T600, so kind of uh, mid-range for a budget card, but it is definitely um, definitely holds its value I would say like it's is it is worth it if you're kind of like on a budget but anyways so to the video settings um, so I'm gonna be playing at 1080p uh, motion blurs off uh, vsync on and maximum frame rate is at 60 um, and the overall quality settings is set to recommended uh, with visual effects post-processing and shadows set to medium textures to high and anti-aliasing and low now um, I'm just going to go ahead and start a new game, and we're going to see how this game plays, and we're going to overwrite. see a door.
So, walking, um, seems like we can't interact with the door just yet. Um, this room is rather interesting. Um, I wonder what these structures, these little structures are for, and can we see, yeah, wow, so we fell through that crevice. Um, I'm really enjoying just, uh, the world, like the world building, like the design is very detailed, it's very nice. It's nice to look at. Um, but this area is uh, a little unnerving. So going through this hallway. That's very interesting. Okay, moving forward. Okay, wow. These look like tentacles or fleshy ropes even. It's a nice visual piece right there. Hmm, that almost looks like a face with a tongue coming out of this tentacle over that one and just breaks off right there. So someone broke this. Some oil or some blood coming out or something. Oh wow. Okay, it's starting to open up a bit. Um, can we go here? Still no. So... So far, I'm really appreciating the atmosphere of this game. It's very um, quiet and slow, but still unsettling. I like it, and I like the reflection of the light coming through there and hitting the ceiling. Anyways, now we go down. And also something that I noticed uh, in my first, um, uh, my first, you know, attempt at this uh, let's play, uh, when I was having audio issues before, is like when you, you look down, you can see your body, and our character has a rather fleshy body, so it's kind of interesting to look at. But anyways, um, so here's the first door. So let's see if we can just slide through this. Now this entire structure, this building that we're in, is very interesting because it looks like it's mostly flesh, but it's like part machine as well. Can I touch this? It just looks at his hand and there's nothing there, so... What about this? interesting so that's probably going to act as a key so if we look down yep we now have that on our hand and arm forearm um he's bleeding a bit but it looks like uh that was an attachment that um pierced the flesh but is now a part of us very interesting so we're probably going to be able to interact with this properly now yeah <laughs> This wasn't even a puzzle, really. 
Um, click to open that up. Go to the right. When I did the uh, first 15 minutes of my first try and the audio uh, didn't work, uh, when I let go, this door is going to start to close. So I'm going to go ahead. Well, I'm, I'm going to exit for now because I want to explore a little bit more of this room. If there's anything else, okay, what's over here? There's, no, there's just a broken chair. It's seating. Terror. So that closes back up again. So we need to kind of be quick going through that door. So let's do this again. what to do with that just yet but let's come back down and keep exploring I think we need two to be able to open that door. Interesting. What's uh, here? Oh, I... 
Okay. Uh, that was a little eerie to see. At first, it almost looks like a uh, goat with uh, horns. does connect to this. So let's go back out actually. Let's go to this left doorway. Left of this uh, passage here. Let's go there. More pods. Oh wow, that is a pile of skeletons. Maybe this could be um, the ones who came before us. And then I see faces here, that's more skeletons and bones. through that door. to put in either this uh, seat or the other seat. So let's go up this way. Up the elevator. Looks like a carcass, maybe, or a shell of something. Let's move forward. Okay, so this was the puzzle that I first tried and like got a little stuck on, but I know what to do. So. Grabbing arm. I see these, uh, these pods. And most of these pods, I don't think of anything in them except these two here that have the eyes for me. So let's try and move that.
this time. This one. Aha, but it's attached to this bottom over here, so.
later. what the relations are.
have happened if we continued down this railway? And where could it have been? decimated him. So we're coming out of this door, go through here, we just came out of, yeah, let's not go through there. Right here. We have to do something with this hand. What if we go back here? Are there any more pods that have like the eyes lit up? I don't see any. I don't think we need to do that again.
Maybe we can it. No. So it's just hallways and hallways. Maybe that way. getting rather unsettling. Still not there. back. Right, guys I think this is a good point to uh, give it a break I'm gonna um, see what I can figure out for next time to see what I have to do with um, our <laughs> our other friend's hand over here his arm so um, if you enjoyed watching this so far uh, you can definitely leave a like on the video leave a comment let me know uh, if you like this game uh, maybe give me some tips because uh, it's rather atmospheric and over there in the distance I see what I'm assuming is more graphical glitches but that's okay anyways um, you're watching Magpie HD and I'll see you guys